What we're going to be looking at next um, is your sort of future plans within UKG, because obviously you've been very active over the last um, the last couple of years. We've seen you make that transition out of um, D and B and into a more sort of UKG flavour. So with that, like, what what are the sort of plans looking like for the future? So the future plan, I mean, the sort of the nearest plan in the future is sort of just to to make and release as much music as possible, really, and just sort of continue growing my fan base as much as I possibly can. I mean, like, I feel like I've sort of see, like had an initial taste for it and I really just want to keep developing my sound and keep really just, just pushing on that and trying to get my music out to as many people in as many places as possible. So that is sort of the plan, I'd say, for the next year, maybe year and a half, something like that. Um, uh, and in terms of the tunes I'm releasing, um, I want to put out a mixture of stuff, really, because I'd say... I'd say my, my productions range from the sort of the style that you've heard on Be With Me just there with the sort of the sort of quite light stuff. A lot, uh, a lot more kind of atmospheric, listening. I suppose, in a way. A lot of the kind of synth, the synths and the pads are very kind of breathy with, with that sort of tune. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's, that's an area of, of sound that I definitely love. But then as a big contrast to that, I also like making stuff on the much heavier side and the sort of filthy side, you know, with the with the heavy wave wave table bass lines um, and, and that kind of stuff. So I, I sort of want to make music uh, along that whole spectrum. Um, so people can kind of see, like kind of, kind of see what I'm capable of really. And I think by, by making music in a wider spectrum, you sort of appeal to more people. Definitely. Um, no, so no, 100%. Sort of- Hundred percent. Garage yeah, yeah, is a very definitely. wide spectrum um, now as well. There's so many different. Um, there's different areas of garage. You've got subgenres. You've got that heavier side. You've got the more melodic side. You've got the broken beat, two steppy side of things. So that it's when when people say they make garage now, it, you you do have to ask. Well, what what sort of area do you make? And obviously, with yeah. yourself, you're someone who who clearly is interested in making like a, a wider kind of spectrum covering the whole thing, which is really interesting. Mm, and I think uh, the amount of potential it has is what makes me so drawn to it because. That was so. That was sort of the thing with with drum and bass at the time. I felt like I felt like it was a little bit more one dimensional compared to what Garage had to offer in terms of where you could take it, what you could explore, and sort of what you could get out of it. Like, I mean, I I think you could be producing in and around Garage for years and years and years and still not feel like you've done it all or completed it. Definitely, I think I think there's a lot of scope, which is which really what is is what makes me drawn to it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for the next year or so, just kind of make and release as much music as possible. Uh, I've mainly been working with Garage Shared for my releases at the moment. Um, so I think in terms of trying to trying to grow my audience a little bit, it would be good to try and get a few releases with a few other platforms. Um, I definitely see Garage Shared as my main sort of hub and as, as, as the kind of like home base of, of what you're doing definitely yeah i mean they um so gavin ford uh and chris stemp are the two main guys behind garage shed um we've got a little group chat on facebook we're always back and forth there nearly every day i'm sending them tunes they give me feedback they sort of help me with plans and advice and stuff in a way that i haven't really found anyone label related to do in the same way yet so i'm really grateful for that and, and that's that's definitely why they, they're gonna stay as my sort of hq and, and and my main place where i'm always gonna release from mainly but yeah um so yeah just just try and branch out a little bit in terms of releases with other platforms and labels and stuff um and then our plan well my, my plan with garage shared some some point down the line is to release an ep or album of stuff that we think has a lot more sort of pop potential and is um, a lot more commercially accessible. So I think, um, so originally um, me starting out with music, I was in various bands and stuff and I was sort of like a bit of an indie guitar boy and stuff. This was this was how I was from probably about 10 to about 16, 17. Uh, and then after that, I sort of moved towards like hip hop and, and writing bars and stuff. And then from there into drum and bass, there into garage. Um, so I sort of, when hip hop started, I sort of completely ditched everything I knew and I'd learned sort of musically and, and kind of instrumentation wise uh, from the sort of more indie background. But what's interesting to see now is a lot of my garage and stuff, you're seeing these sort of old melodic ideas and sort of chord structures and stuff. And even me putting my own vocals back onto to some of my garage and stuff. So you're, you're seeing this sort of indie influence bleed over into my newer sort of garage sound and my sort of more accomplished production sound. 
Awesome, um, man. Well, so, so, so your, your, your sounds whole. almost become like, a, to an extent, it's almost become like a full circle of, of your musical history. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, which which makes me gas to think about. Really, it's, yeah. it's quite it's quite cool how it's all worked. Yeah. It's, it's it's a very unique kind of approach to it, which is really really cool to see, man. It, I mean, again, it's it's really exciting, kind of watching from the sidelines and seeing um, the growth that you're going through, and almost like the the tune to tune progression. Like we're seeing it tune to tune. The next tune is better than the last one every single time by like a, by like a substantial margin. So it's awesome oh, to thanks, watch um, from a from a from a, from a kind of fans perspective. So kind kind of with that, then obviously you said you're you're very keen on releasing a lot of music and getting your your sound out to as many different places as possible um mm-hmm. one question i'd love to ask because i love asking this question because everyone always stutters and, and they never know what to say so be prepared <laughs> you ready okay. you want to post yeah. <laughs> okay one dream collaboration within ukg what would it be i can only get one you can get one oh. <laughs> it's that noise every time i love it <laughs> <laughs> um One dream collaboration, I'd say right now, it would probably change from day to day or, or week to week. Uh, I'm going to go Forte. I'm going to go Forte. Okay. I'm going to go that, Forte. I, that's, that's, a, that's a good one. You know what? The, you're, four, the, you're, the first, you're, you're, you're the first. You're, you're the, you're the first um, garage producer I've spoken to that has said Forte to, as an answer to that question. So there we go. Good stuff. Fantastic. Nice. Stuff. Nice. Love that. Um, so cool. we've only got um, a couple of minutes left. So I want to kind of uh, start to round this up. It's been really, really good to talk to you this morning, man. Thank you for taking the time out of your yeah, morning man, to come it's on gone the show. Quick. Thank you for having me on. No worries at all, man. Anytime. Obviously, with new music, please make sure you are sending it over um, for the show. We'd love to obviously keep supporting and uh, keep your stuff playlisted. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish up with a track you sent over entitled Villain. So talk to me about this one. So Villain is the polar opposite to Be With Me. Uh, this one is so so it's a lot heavier. It's, sort of, it's, it's a filthy garage track compared to Be With Me, which is a lot more kind of ambient and easy listening and, and a lot more accessible. This one is... More niche, uh, but I still think a lot of Brightonians and a lot of people in the Bristol scene would like this one. Um, I sort of took took on the challenge of trying to emulate the sound design from the sort of 2010 to 2012 dubstep era, but then whack it on top of some crazy, crunchy two-step drums. Uh, and I won't say too much more. Let's have a listen. This is, uh, this is sort of the result. Awesome, man. Well, before we get into it, I do want to ask, um, what's the best social media place for people to get hold of you and what is the um, at? Um, so best place on socials, I would say is Instagram and that is at badger underscore music underscore maker. Okay, cool. Wicked stuff. Okay, well, dude, it's been it's been awesome having you on this morning, man. It's been really, really good. And obviously, we hope to uh, we hope to hear from you soon. We hope to hear new music. What's the next thing you've got on the way? Just so just aware so why. Uh, so, villain is actually out tomorrow. Oh, awesome! There so we go. I thought it was, it was a perfect opportunity to play it today. Oh, fabulous stuff. So, has this been played on radio before? On radio four. Has this been played on radio before? <laughs> Uh, 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 no, it hasn't. There we go. We got a word exclusive, people. We're going to get into this one now. I'm super excited to do it. So we're going to jump into this one. Keep it locked. Don't go anywhere. We are live on the Big Bad Trick Star Radio. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's go. World exclusive for breakfast with Coda.